Look at you all. Look at that big smile. You can do it. Tell me about what's going on today, sir. How many years, basically? You know? This is our sixth year in Port Hope. This is a, a national walk. It takes place in the third weekend of February every year. This is Port Hope's sixth year. Uh, we raise money for the Greenwood Coalition, uh, which is a grassroots organization, puts boots on the ground, working with the hurting, hungry, and homeless uh, in our communities. Uh, this is our finest year yet. We have blasted through our goal, and we're heading for raising 60000 or more, we are just over the moon. We have all kinds of sponsors, we have dedicated volunteers and a crew that's just working tirelessly for the past two months to put this on. We are just overjoyed with the support from all over Northumberland. We can't believe it. Business support, corporate support, clubs, service clubs, organizations, churches, just an enormous groundswell of support from all around Northumberland and we are just through the roof and with joy over it. It's fantastic. It's tell just me, wonderful. Tell me about what, and as I say, I, I know you've touched on it, but tell me what, what is it that makes it what it is? What makes this what it is, is that the each community comes together, raises funds through coldest night of the year, and the most wonderful thing is that those funds stay in that local community to help organizations and charities, in particular Greenwood Coalition in our neck of the woods here, uh, receives no consistent government funding, so what we raise in terms of funds, we raise ourselves, and uh, we, we're just so thankful for, for the support from Northumberland County. How does it, and how does it get, uh, if you know this, Philip, how does it get transferred down to those who need it, I guess? And if you don't know that fine, I just thought, you know. Oh, like, no, I yeah. can absolutely tell you. Uh, the money that is raised through the coldest night of the year represents uh, between 25 and 30 percent of the Greenwood Coalition's annual budget. It is applied right to our budget lines, and it goes to support our outreach programs, our Red Path Addiction Recovery programs, uh, and our weekly uh, Wednesday dinners at St. John's Anglican in Port Hope, as well as an art hive and many of the community projects that uh, Greenwood Coalition runs. Last question. You touched on it again. What was the goal and have you surpassed it? Our goal this year was 50,000 and we are now closing in on 57,000 and I'll be absolutely overjoyed if we break the $60,000 barrier. How much, uh, how much over the last six years have you raised? Roughly. Uh, over the last six years, we have raised in excess of 180,000. We're, we're coming close to 200,000, I think. Last question, how many uh, do you expect in this walk? We have 44 teams. Currently, we have 209 walkers. We'll probably end up somewhere around 245 walkers. <laughs> Why, why you keep coming back okay, to this? Besides the chili, okay? Besides the homemade chili and the bread that they bring, um, you know what? Greenwood Coalition, uh, I, I live in this community and uh, I got friends in this community, I got family in this community, so it means a lot to me to support this community. I'm now turning the microphone and the job over to my fellow event director for the last two years, Phil Redford. <laughs> Thank you, Judy, and thank you, Northumberland County. Give it up for yourself! Woo! I, I'm going to share a little uh, something with you. Judy is so modest, but she leaves enormous, and I mean enormous, shoes to fill. Each year, we're challenged with coming up with a goal, and this year, our goal was $50,000. The need for service is growing, and it's growing rapidly. And the number of groups needing support just keeps on increasing. We are overwhelmed by the loyal support of our community, and most important, 
the support of you, our walkers. We are over the moon, and I'm gonna tell you why shortly. Because the money you raise here in our community stays in our community and helps to support the Greenwood Coalition. Now, as of 5 p.m., we've not only met the goal, but we've vaulted over it. We sit right now, as I speak, at $56,861. We have the greatest number of teams we've ever put together in Northumberland County this year. We've got 44 teams, 211 walkers, and that's still counting. Please welcome now David Sheffield. Northumberland Hills Community Mental Health, uh, Rebound Youth Services, Transition.